Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's out. She can't wait to get out. So this is our last day. We've come to the beach. We, we've got to leave in a couple of hours for the airport. Take the car back. So we've come to... What should we do today? Well, there was one place we wanted to come, which we haven't come yet, which is a really nice bay down a slope. It's where the swings are at the top. So we're going to go down there. I'm going to have a final swim. Maybe snorkel, maybe not. Depends if it's surfy, which I think it might be. Um, I'm either going to swim or sur uh, snorkel. So this is the final countdown. Malta Surf School. Oh yeah, I'll be swimming down there. That looks lovely. Lovely. We've got some great graffiti. This lovely old ruined building. And there is our lovely artisan coffee place. Are you? Yeah. Dunno. Here we go. So he's got his, his training boards out. Maybe I should see about doing a surf lesson. He's a surf school. You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't let that collapse. You'd make it somewhere awesome and make a shitload of money, wouldn't you? Look at this beautiful bay. Lush. This is such a beautiful bay. Except it's been quite rough. This is all plastic. Absolutely covering the whole area. Plastic. Plastic, plastic. I was going to have a last swim here, but I've actually changed my mind. Partly because of all this plastic and all this crap, but also because I've seen quite a few of these. This jellyfish, a purple stinger, I think it's called. I'm going. I'm not going in the water here. I'm going to get stuck. So this is Excarja Beach, where I thought I'd come and swim and snorkel there. We should be on the right side of the island. That's really pumping there. No way I'm swimming there, and there's no way I'm snorkeling there. Beautiful World War II pillboxes right there. Beautiful sea, beautiful rocks to snorkel on. Park in there, we're stuffed. So we've come down to Mascala, parked there. This is the first place I can get in. Looks a lovely little town, lovely little bay, nice and calm and sheltered. I'm going to get in here, have a quick snorkel, 10 minutes. We've got to be leaving for the airport in an hour. So I'm going to have 10 minutes in the water. And then we're going to wander into town. Here we go, we've got a toilet, we've got steps to get in and out. That means I can jump in, hopefully. So that's all going to be rather good. A bit lunar. Lovely little pool. Nice. Well, here we are, now finishing up. So that's my last snorkel of the day and of the week and of the holidays. So 12 days here and I've done plenty of snorkeling. This was an unplanned snorkel here over at Marsa Carla. Couldn't get in where I planned earlier. So we've been running around, haven't been able to get anywhere. So, Marsa Carla, beach on the town, rocky. There's a proper beach a bit further up there. Um, that signposted so we came in just down there it's nice so see there's a little little pool you can get in you've got steps to get down little pool and then straight out into the deeper water what was it like well there was some really good fish out i saw my first flat fish i've ever seen in malta uh diving or snorkeling so that was cool there's only a little one like that dive down for him hopefully i've got a little bit of video um saw some good sized mullet the biggest mullet I've seen here uh, shoals of and some big um, what I call quarantine um, biggest I've seen here as well they were good they were they were about a pound I'd say in weight um, 
plenty of other species, so cuckoo wrasse and shannies and gobies and um, yeah, just the usual stuff as well. And it was just a really, really pleasant little snorkel. Very easy, very pleasant, lovely and clear, lovely and gentle. And you know, you can't ask for more. Perfect. Nice, gentleman's caught a nice fish. Mullet, good. Oh, lovely, look at that. I timed that well, lovely golden mullet. You like fishing? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fisherman. Look at that, lovely golden mullet. Beautiful, well done, sir. Because we had extra ones put on by the man. Yes, can I see? It's fine, yeah. Because there was quite a few things that we spotted that weren't listed originally. Mm -hmm. So like the ones on the roof and that on the mm -hmm. grill and there. Mm -hmm. So. No, no. Okay. Okay. Is our fuels correct? Yeah, four eight, brilliant. Plus four eight. Yep. We can get a little bit more. Oh, so we did put five. <laughs> A little bit more. Yeah, it's, yeah, we put more. We've just been, it's like, it's not going up, it's not because, going up. Because of all of the traffic around the airport, we thought we'd just put no. a bit more in. Yeah. Like, Brilliant, okay. Okay, so. One so second. everything's perfect, nothing extra, correct? Oh, brilliant, yes, That's great. this paper for you. Yeah, brilliant. That is yours. That's brilliant, oh, thank you. It. So everything's fine and correct, nothing extra. Fantastic, thank okay. you. Well, we handed back the car just on time. Yep. We videoed them checking it over. Uh, we had a hell of a stressful time trying to get fuel just before we came in, because that dropped down. We ended up putting in <laughs> more than we needed. Um, but the travel, uh, traffic around the airport was a nightmare, because everything has gone wrong. There's just road works like you wouldn't believe. So to go round a roundabout takes three and a half kilometers. Uh, we put one bar more, we put seven quid in, we didn't need to. Oh. So we were on four eight, I put it as, as four, but it's only uh, graduating in six, I think. So we put it up to four, which is four eight. Um, look at this, look. Look at all these people, look at all these people. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's little things, isn't it? All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to myself like that. No, I can't do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? How many of me are there? Oh. This is going down. Add in for nine. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll give up on that now. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Anyway, he's confirmed that well, the car is all fine. It's fine. It was a bloody nightmare. That's why I keep shouting at you, telling you off. She's been. It's your fault. Your fault. Running around trying to get dive snorkeling and trying to get bread and trying to get this and trying to get You that. told me go and jump out and get bread and pass this and a bun. Yeah, give me some divas. Give me some divas. Give me a bun. You need to do your bag up. So here we are. Arrived at Malta International Airport. And we're very sad. Aren't we out? Very sad. We like it here. We don't want to leave the sunshine and go and be cold. Coming into the terminal. There we go. Nice, nice little eating place. Well, departures, all gates. That's all the other bit, so. There we go. Departures to the left. Look, got some nice displays of stuff. Oh, we shan't be buying any of that. Look at that. Departure gates. Look, at all looks lovely. And now it's time to switch off. Look at this. The Lavalette Club. Lovely lounge. Overlooking the runway. Oh, my word. Last time I was here, it was with my daughters. This is going to be a rather lovely afternoon in here. All, this, all these freebies, look at this. Oh, jeez, oh, oh, cold meat. Look at that. Lovely. Pastel. 
ditzy, it's the best. You're here in the lounge, what are you saying to my fat? You, call said, me fat? you called me fatty, but look who's talking, look at your food. Yeah, but, yeah, but look, I mean all that. Okay, so I may have a really impressive set of items from the lounge. <sighs> Meat, I've got pastizzi, I've got cheese, I've got the lot. Man. Well, Eloise and Abby, do you remember the lounge here in Malta? The airport lounge? Well, it's still bloody fantastic. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, hope you're having a lovely time at home. <laughs> We don't want to be doing that shit. We've got to be last on. If we go on last, then we'll know whether or not we can sit together somewhere. Oh, I've got to sit with you, that is. I will be last on this flight. The sun is setting on our Malta adventure. Boo! We don't want to go back to the coals. Look, with our bare arms. So we've got random seat allocation, we even managed to sit next together, look, and look, look, look. I got my window seat, I can do a nice taking off video. To inflate the life jacket, pull down sharply on the red toggle. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation or deflation, and a light to attract attention.